What up guys, come here and welcome to a new video where I'm going to be showing you how I edit my videos. Alright, so in this video, I'm basically, like I just said just a second ago, I'm basically going to show you how I edit my videos. Um, now, we're doing this on a PC building simulator video that I uploaded, um... The what? That is already up. I'm not sure when I uploaded it because I don't know when this video is going up. Um, but I... But this is that PC building simulator video and it's going up relatively similar. To, I, it should be exactly the same, but I'm not sure whether I re-edited it or not. I'm not going to re-edit it, but if some if I put it up and something is wrong, then I've re-edited it. Um, as I have done before and I probably will do again, knowing me. So... What we do first is, let's see what we've got here. Now, for me, I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit all my videos now. How I do it is, um, I've got profiles. Now, normally this would be, I know it says up here, it says untitled. Um, normally this would be PC Building Simulator, but it's just untitled because I just clicked on one, um, just for the purpose of, of um, recording this video. But, um... What I do is I have the different files saved because if I have one file that says YouTube videos, in here I'm going to have so many videos, pictures, images, audio, whatever, that it makes a massive problem when actually going in and editing it because I could have something in, in the video that I forgot to delete from the previous editing session and things get complicated then. And then i got to go and find it, delete it, whatever else. Um, so I just have different profiles for everything. Um, so then the worst that can happen is while I'm is in a PC building simulator video, a five second clip from the previous video just shows up without any context, which is better than playing than watching a video on PC building simulator and then five second clip of Battlefront Two shows up. You know it. That's different. It's a lot. I know it's not good, but it's better. So. Um, now, how, this is how I like to set up my um, workstation. Uh, excuse me. Um, I have my timeline down here, my little picture selection thing here with all of my media browser effects and whatnot. Effect controls are up here. Um, I don't. I don't ever use any of this. And then this is my um, um, like show screen. Um, I've got my sequence settings. You can't see it at the moment, but I've got it. it's nineteen twenty by ten eighty, ten eighty p. And I've got all my stuff here. So first of all, my intro. And this is the normal intro you would see. Just, you know. Now this one. This one has been edited. Um, does not match the sequence settings. So keep existing settings. This one has been exported in, I think it's 1366 by 748, I think. So if this happens, you basically just need to extend it. it and it will go the other way. If you record something in 1080p and you record it, you record something in 1080p, no, let's say in 4K and you put it into a 1080p sequence setting, it will go backwards. Um, so in that case, you just need to do exactly what I've done there, but just make it smaller so it fits. Theoretically, it should work exactly the same. I don't work with 4K. The only, the highest resolution I work up, up with is... Um, 1080p. Occasionally, I work with 2K, but it's more for it's more 1080p. I've never used 4K video. Um, I mean, I probably, if somebody said to me, "Could you edit a video for me that's 4K?" I'd say, "Well, I'd probably be able to do it." But I've never worked with 4K before. But so anyway, so we've got the intro in. Now, this being the main the main clip, the main 11 minute clip, um, I literally I just stick it in there. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what I've forgotten. I'll tell you exactly what I've forgotten. If I go into my documents and go into YouTube audio, PC building simulator audio, there we go, I've forgotten that. Um, that's just the audio that I've already processed. You've seen that beforehand. Um, so that's my audio. Now, in this particular instant, um, go away. I'm using, Pro I'm using Premiere Pro, so I expect my PC to be slightly slower. Um, so, I... Um, now how this works is, for some reason, has, let's just see if this is still the case. You see here, it's, okay, so it's not. Okay. 
when I was looking, I put this, I had to restart Premiere Pro because when I did it, when I, I tried setting it all up beforehand because I wanted to know how I was going to edit it. I've forgotten how I, how I actually meant to edit it anyways, I did it yesterday. But for some reason, this didn't, this clip didn't import properly. But anyway, so ignore that, that's perfectly fine. Um, so what you do is you right click on it. Now, for me, how I get my audio in, you drag it and you drop it, right? That's perfectly fine. You know, it's equal. It might be a couple seconds off, but uh, hang on a minute. Radiator. Not so it is pretty, It is exactly as it should be, right? So that is equal, right? Now, how I change it, how I make it so this audio is the main audio for this, um, I right-click it. And you go to unlink. Now, what it does is it separates the video file from the, both the audio files. And what you want to do is you want to delete it, and you want to put this back up here. Now, the only reason when you wouldn't do that is um, when you, let's say, your because at the moment that video, that audio is the game audio and the video and my audio in one track. Um, I edit them both in one track. If I'm doing something where I'm letting you watch a YouTube video, I'll edit them as two separate tracks, but it's just easier to edit them as one track because then you don't have to process it twice. You know, if I was watching a YouTube video, you don't want to process the audio of a YouTube video because it just sound awful. So this, um, I edit all in one. If you are recording, like, let's say you've got your background audio that you want to keep, you basically just delete the audio that you don't want. So in this particular instance, you know, I haven't got any game audio in this because for some reason it didn't record. So you just click this, delete it, and then you've got your background audio. You Gets know. the... I get... Because on the last video... Right, is this actually... Yes, yeah, so that's all aspect. That's all fine. Um, so I'm just going to delete the background audio because it's not actually showing up in the video, which is weird. Um, right, so just like that. Okay. So now what we do is I is the pictures here so this picture here and this picture here um i i know where these are from now when we get later on into the video um we need to make sure that i input well not we i i need to make sure that i input all the different things that i know i'm going to input now i took these screenshots on purpose so then i know that they've got to be in the video somewhere and i remember where they've got to be in because what i was doing was i was doing a comparison between the two water cooling um systems the water cooled systems and um, just put them side by side to see which one's better and to show you on a side by side basis which one is better. So what we do is we go a bit further on. Uh, let me just put these case fans in. Yeah, that's me putting the IGB case fans in. What I, was what I was thinking last time was that the um. CPU... The CPU in this one has not got any direct cooling. Right, so, right, so what we do here, um, as far as neat neatness to the Right, so let's go with this panel. one. So, what I'm playing about with it, um, this is the one I want, no, it's not, it's this one. So, I go on this one, I basically zoom in, and I extend it to how long I want it. So, when do we finish just playing about on the, in this machine? CPU is a lot more... I don't know, because it's too big. Um, right, so that's what we finished playing about with it. So just about here, right? So we make that smaller, right? So what we need to do now is make this so it actually fits properly. So what we want to do is we want to go into our effects, go to crop, and just put it on top. Go into our effect controls, and how do we want to crop it? Um, by the right up into there from the bottom to get rid of all of the UI and from the left just until there just to make it just to get the excess stuff out of the way so we because we don't need it you know we, all this excess all the excess stuff we really don't need it's not worth being there and also the less the more excess we don't have the more like I can extend this and make the picture a lot more visible to be seen so um 
I apologize if you could hear that. I just cracked my knuckles. <laughs> so now we get into this bit. Where do we start? So we start, let's say, about here. And now we need to go into this bit, get the other block, other picture, um, make this smaller just so I can see what I'm doing here. And let's see, when do we stop playing about in this? Just about there, right? So extend this, and now we just do basically do the exact same. So effects crop um, onto there. Um, effect controls, just basically like bottom to get rid of the UI. Um, left, let's check and take care, take out some of the fans, play the fan, and from the right to about there. Lovely, right. So now just extend it and just stick it in the corner. Now the reason why I stick it in the corner is because if you look at it a minute, um, let's just just watch it like this and uh, say what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stick this bit here. So I'm gonna start it here, and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is stick this bit here and see if you can see what the difference would be and why I put it in the corner. That's a, that's nice. That's nice lighting. I have to admit, but. But automatically you can see that that looks so much better as far as neatness to this one because this one's just all over the place. You know, we've got one radiator that we apparently didn't need and you can see that the that it's... Now ignore, ignore for the moment the fact that it's got no transitions because we'll come to that in a second. This one being in the corner it's completely out of the way for the most part so you can see the main crux of the of what i'm trying to do this one the picture is right in the middle you can only see part of what i'm trying to do so if i stick this down at the bottom here then that's the majority of it like uncovered so you can see what i'm doing you know, certain bits of the case and whatnot might be slightly, un slightly covered but the main area of what i'm doing which is the water cooling is perfectly fine um, so that's basically how I do as far as pictures are concerned. Um, is there anything else? Um, I can't remember. Are there any pictures? Um, no, they're not. They wouldn't be in there. They'd be in here. Are there any other pictures? That's me. That's not anything. That's me thumbnail. No. All right. Um, I think that's it. Oh, one more thing. Now, this doesn't this doesn't impact it at all as far as editing is concerned. Um, I'll tell you something that does, and I'll move that in a second. So, what you want to do? I'm just going to do this entire lock layer. I'm going to lock this entire layer. Now, do you really? As soon as you uh, as soon as you move your audio to its des designated place, you really just need to lock these lock these two together. So, if you link it, it basically means that you can cut these clips up just as you want to and they'll both cut um, now for the sake of me already editing it I'm just going to link this entire lot so whenever I move this it oops Eddie that's not worked <laughs> okay that's interesting can I not okay so I can't link this all is this all linked no all right then Okay, then that's, that's fine. Um, I'll just relink that in a second. So, so what I want is now here at the start of this video. I really should have done this right at the start, but I've got my intro here, and it fades off and it fades back in. Now there's a bit of silence here for a reason, and that's because the transition in between my video, my intro, and the, me starting to talk and do my vo verbal intro. Um, the transition in between needs a couple seconds just to f do the actual motion of the transition. I'll show you what you can... So, if you get it all the way up here... Let's just move it a bit further across. Just... There we go. So, you have it like that. So, as you can see, if I have it there, it's actually right next to the audio, right? So, if I just take this first bit off... Right, and move this to there. Let's get my effects and go to dissolve. No. Um, cross. Cross dissolve. Right, and I put that in between. Right. Now, for watch it. What on guys, my dear, and welcome to another video. That didn't actually work too badly. But is that because... Um, how's it? Let's get the cross dissolve a minute. Let's stick this 
Can we stick it in the middle? I don't know. No, we can't. Right, well, that doesn't work too badly, but if I take... So, if I just go back a bit a minute. Right, so we've got this bit here. Right, so this extra bit. If I stick it just, let's say... Don't need, don't need to be much, but let's just stick it there. Right, literally a couple seconds, it's not a major problem. If we just stick it there... I haven't linked it back up, it's unlinked itself. But, um, let's just link it back up. Right, let's put this down here. Right. Now, if we put the cross dissolve in now... What but I'm going to is it sounds a better with a bit of a gap. I personally think it does anyway. So, that makes a bit... That ma that's nicer, I personally think. You know, you can do it how you want to, but that's nicer for me. Um... Right, so where are, where are we at now? That is, um, we're going to be making a water-cooled system that is actually good. It's actually good. Now, there is a bit in this video where I talk over the comment. Now, I would have a screenshot of the comment in here, but for the sake of it being a tutorial video... I prefer it better that I explain it myself. And also, the English in the comment wasn't the best. So, I didn't see... I don't see any need of adding the comment into the video. If it was just me quoting somebody that made a suggestion for me, like for a video, or um, I was trying to thank somebody because they helped me do something, I don't know. But so, certain instances, I would... Um, I would turn around and I would put a screenshot in the video. But other times, I wouldn't. Um, and this is one of those ones where I wouldn't. So anyway, on to the transitions now. You've already seen me do one transition, and my favourite one is the, um, cross dissolve. And I use the cross dissolve on most things, or, well, nearly all things. So basically, how you do it, especially with these ones, if you, I'm going to do another before and after. So look at the difference between them as they, uh, between the difference between this one and this one. But... But automatically, you can see that that looks so much better as far as neatness to this one. Because this one's just all over the place. You know, we've got one radiator that we apparently didn't need. And you can see that the, that it's, that the CPU is a lot more, like, better cooled. So as you can see, the difference between them is one comes up smooth, one comes up blocky. And the basically, the transitions just make it nice and smooth. It makes the video flow a bit better, which I, th I like. You know, I think it's a really neat thing. I know it's only a simple thing that you put one on the end. But, um, and also, I always like to leave a bit of a gap at the end. So if necessary, just literally get your cut tool, cut that there. Highlight those, delete, and then cross dissolve. Boom, like that, basically. So there you go. Um, so that is basically, that is a simple 10 minute video of how I edit. If, it would be a lot more in detailed if I showed you how I edited Traitor 2 or Traitor the Traitor videos in general, because that's a lot more in depth and a lot more in detail. This is very, very brief. Very brief editing and very simple editing. If you want to... I learned a lot of what I know in regards to software, computers, hardware, software, whatever. I learned myself. I've taught myself how to do it. I don't mind helping people, but if, like... I don't mind helping people, but... I can't, I'm not, because I've taught myself, what I do maybe isn't the best way of doing it. It's the best way for me to do it, but it might not be the best way for you to do it. So, if you need, same with the, same with the audio editing. I mean, I can help you the best I can, but if I can't help you, I will either get somebody to, that I know will help you, or point you in the right direction, say a website or a YouTube video, or what have you. So, if you leave a comment saying, can you, um, how do you do this? Let's say, how do you, um... How do you zoom in to a certain point on a video? I, know, I mean, I know how to do it. It's easy stuff. But, and I, let's say, didn't know how to do it. I'd say, I just reply saying, I'm sorry, I'm not aware of how to do that properly. 
or effectively for what you want, but I know someone who can, and this is a link to that certain place. So that's basically how that works. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. That's about all we have time for in this video here. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. If you have any um, other ideas of little tutorial videos I could go through, I've done my audio editing, I've done my video editing now. I could do my thumbnail editing, but it's not that in depth. It is literally just overlaying, like getting a base thumbnail, a base for the thumbnail, and just putting text over it and other pictures. It's not anything that's too in detailed. Um, but if you have any other suggestions, I could, I, again, the same with how I record my videos, it is basically just press Alt F9 on um, NVIDIA Shadow Play and I'm starting recording. It's not that hard. You know, I've got my audio set up. Um, I've got my, I've got it set up so it records off my mic. I've got it set to two, two separate tracks. I've recorded in 1080p 60fps. You know, it's not anything that's so in detailed. So, you know, take it as you will. But, um, but if you want me to do it, then I'll by all means do it. So leave it in the comment section down below. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button for more awesome um, tutorial gaming content. And I shall see you all later. Bye.